Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a makeup haul because I recently just bought a ton of makeup and I want to talk about it with you guys. I'm pretty excited. Everything I bought was for me, so I only bought the colors that I were specifically interested in and things like that, but still, it was a lot and I'm pretty excited to kind of clean up my makeup collection. Um, get rid of things that I won't use and the first step is to get some makeup that I really do like and so we're gonna I'm gonna show you some that I got I'm gonna go through them brand by brand and then tell you where I got them and What they are and everything else so Yeah, I got a bunch of palettes from Morphe got like four of them and they're on sale right now and I use the promo code 15, save 15 now and I got an additional 15% off of the sale price. The price of all four of these ended up being a little bit over what it would cost to get one naked palette. So I was like, it's kind of a no-brainer, good quality, lots of beautiful colors and I'm going to show you the ones that I got specifically. So the first palette that I'm going to show you today is the 35O palette. This one is really popular and you'll see why. Look at all of those beautiful, beautiful warm tones. And these colors are just freaking amazing. They are so gorgeous. Like, so gorgeous. I haven't had a chance to use this one yet. I got these about a week ago. Um, pretty excited. Like. Look at these, this one. Look at this one. Amazing. Amazing. So, yeah, that's palette number one. The next one that I got was the 350T palette. I like this one a lot because I've been really digging the purple colors lately, like a lot. And I've been using this one probably the most um, out of the week that I've just had them. But it's so nice to have this many colors to work with. Um, you could almost get away with just having one of these, except they didn't have like blue tones and green tones in it on just one palette that I really was interested in. I was like, Meh, I'll get four instead. <laughs> Next up is 35D. I love, I freaking love this palette. This one might be my favorite out of the four just because of like the such intense beautiful colors that they've had. I've been using, I tried to do like a makeup look that was kind of ombre-esque the other day and I used this color, this color, and this color to kind of do like a blue-purple and it turned out pretty nice, I think. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. I'm really excited about the green colors here. You can see that I've started to use them already. Um, beautiful. Just so beautiful. So I'm super pumped about this one. And the final palette that I got from Nor Morphe is the 35P. Doo -doo -doo. More purples! Yay! These are a little bit more intense purples rather than the other one that was more like rosy, mauve esque This is more like pinks and stuff. Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty nice. So, yeah. I'm in love with my Morphe palettes. I love them. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is all of the NYX stuff that I got, which you might notice right here. NYX is a brand that I've completely fallen in love with because of their amazing price and the amazing quality that they offer. They're just like Elf and how awesome they are for being a drugstore brand. And so I went ahead and purchased five of the uh, lingerie nudes and I've been so in love with them. The colors that I got are corset, bustier, hopefully I'm saying that one right, embellishment, push-up, and honeymoon. Um, I've used a couple of these already this week since I've gotten them. The one that I have right now is bustier, and I've been loving it. I tried corset yesterday, and it was nice, but it was a little bit light, so I definitely think that you have to 
pair it well with whatever you're wearing or with whatever your eyeshadows are. I'm going to go ahead and quick give you some swatches. Like I said, this is the one that I have on my lips right now. And uh, it's a beautiful purpley maroon. I, I love it. I love it a lot. It just dark nudes. I fell in love with dark nudes ever since I got a sample in my Ipsy bag of a natural lipstick, but it didn't last and I accidentally put it through the washer and so that's gone. Um, so I needed more. This one is embellishment. This is like the most purple out of all of them and it's freaking awesome. It's a little bit more purple than Bustier, as you can see. I think this one be, might be one of my favorites out of all of them. I mean, they're all my favorites, but that's why I only got these instead of all 24 of the, the colors. So yeah, you can see that it's a little bit darker. This is Push Up. Um, this is probably the most wearable color that I bought. It's kind of like a more neutral neutral <laughs> and it has a little bit more pink I guess in it it blends in with my lips very well too so I like this color a lot you can see this one's honeymoon I haven't worn this one yet and I'm a little afraid that I won't get a chance to wear it very much because it's so brown you'll see what I mean in a second here yeah, it's pretty brown, pretty grayish brown. For some reason, I thought that embellishment right here would be like similar to Honeymoon, but Honeymoon's really brown. So I don't know if I'll get a chance to wear this a ton, but I'll have it, you know? I'll use it because I have it, but it won't be the number one choice. The last color that I got was Corset. And like I said, this is, this one is the lightest one that I got. And you have to be careful on what you wear it with. And you can see it right here. You can see it's the most light gray. It's kind of like Honeymoon that's just been uh, washed out a little bit. I wore this one all yesterday and I liked it. I felt very in command of myself because it was such a bold color and I was like, hello, I got this. So, yep, that's all of the colors that I got um, in love. It's pretty crazy, guys. I'm saying that I'm in love with a makeup product for your lips. How crazy is that? Continuing on with everything that I got from NYX, I went ahead and purchased the... Um, the matte liquid liner that they have going on right here, they only have black, but man, oh man, this is probably one of the best eyeliners I have ever tried, and it's like super, super cheap. I was considering getting ones that were like a little bit more expensive, but if there's an option here, like, that's like this, it's amazing. Like, it's amazing. It's so smooth, and it has completely changed how I do my eyes, like completely, like, I have it on right now and I can totally like work it out here and make it look super commanding and awesome. Other liquid um, eyeliners that I've had, they use dry out so it gets a little tricky trying to get a nice sharp line. And this guy, oh my god, it's so amazing and so cheap too so I don't have to worry about buying more. Like, it's amazing. You buy it, buy it. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about from NYX is a, the HD Photogenic uh, Concealer. I just wanted to try a different concealer. I didn't get this particular reason. My concealer that I use is okay, but it doesn't last very long, so I thought I'd get this. I'm notoriously bad at picking out like skin colors that match my skin, so I'm really hoping that this will work. I haven't tried it. I just got it today. The color that I got, I think, is Classic Ivory. And, yeah. So it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, and I think that's how it's supposed to work with concealers, because you always want it to brighten up those areas, especially on your under eye. So, yeah, you know. Concealer. The next thing that I got is this eyebrow 
thing. It is a tinted eyebrow mascara. And I don't do anything with my eyebrows, as you can tell, because they're barely there. And just it's probably the least confident thing that goes on my face that I will apply, so I just don't. But I thought I would try, and this is super cheap, so why not, you know? I haven't tried it yet, so I can't say if I like it or not. I just wanted to show you that I got this, and I'm going to be trying to work it on my eyebrows. All right, that's everything that I got from NYX. I got a few other little thingies. Oh, I also got a sponge because I need a new sponge. That's why. And I think all sponges are like, they're pretty much all the same outside of just like the shape and things like that. It's not that one works better than the other. It's just, it's just a sponge, you know? Like, I don't understand why people go ahead and compare them. Maybe there is a difference and I'm just not paying attention. I don't know. So, um, going back to face products, I got this guy. It's been on my list to get for a while, but I didn't want to get one until I ran out of my face stuff that I was already using. So, I'm excited to try this as a foundation. Uh, I've heard really good things about it. I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, I'm just excited. The last thing that I got is from e.l.f of course, and it is a makeup like mist and set spray. I've been using rose water to set my makeup, but I don't really think it has any ability to make my makeup last any longer. I think it just makes the powder that I finish with just like sink into my skin, which is nice, but it doesn't add to making it last any longer. So I thought I would go ahead and try an official setting spray rather than just using whatever I find, you know? So. Again, I haven't tried this, but we'll just see how it goes. So that is everything in my makeup haul. I'm planning on going through my entire makeup uh, collection and getting rid of stuff that I've had for a long time and just haven't thrown away. I just want to like slim down to like the good things that I really like. There's no sense in owning things that don't work and aren't beautiful, in my opinion. Just get rid of them, declutter your life, center yourself, help yourself. 2017 is all about self-care for me, so this kind of plays into it a little bit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Please check out other ones if you so choose. I've been thinking about doing a couple other different videos, um, maybe book reviews or just vlogging, talking about my spirituality, which I might do later on today. We'll see. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Bye.